everybody, it's Ernie Mobier, and today I have the 40th episode of Gaming is a Pope! Fuck yeah! 40th episode, definitely moving along in this series. So, uh, you know, it's been gone for a couple weeks, but uh, hopefully you guys are still there, and hopefully you guys are ready for another Gaming is a Pope episode. So the gameplay today is Pinball Arcade. That game's kind of cool, I mean, I got it on PlayStation Plus, but you only get like three or four actual pinballs. Or, you know, pinball maps, or whatever the fuck they're called, I guess. Anyways, uh, that game's kind of cool, so I hope you guys like it. But if you guys do have any gameplay suggestions of your own, be sure to leave that game in the comments section below, and I'll try to rent it and use it in further Gaming News Above episodes. Anyways, uh, the articles today are kind of interesting, and um, probably stuff you haven't heard about yet. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into them. Fuck yeah! So, moving to our first Gaming News Above article. This one is talking about the PS4 pre-orders, in particular through Amazon. So uh, it's talking about Amazon shipped out confirmation emails to everybody, uh, basically confirming that they actually did pre-order uh, pre the PS4. And I think it's been particular for the people that got the launch edition, so uh, those people get the console on day one. And I actually got this email as well, um, basically it just said, you know, you pre-ordered the console, here's uh, the release date, and the release date on that email wasn't correct, and uh, I mean, I don't know why these people are working up so, so much about it. It basically said, uh, well, mine said December 31st, theirs said January, I don't know why the fuck it said January there. Um, but, uh, they're not gonna get the console until then. But as far as I know, that's just a placeholder until Sony actually releases the release date for the PS4. And, uh, Microsoft hasn't done that for the, for the Xbox One either, so... I don't know why these people are working up so much over this. So, uh, I, I really advise you guys look at this article, it's like, what the fuck are you guys talking about? They're talking about fucking, uh... Apparently Sony has uh, given unlimited pre-orders to the PS4 and while that's true I mean through Amazon there's the launch edition and then there's the regular edition and the regular edition might not get it on day one So I don't know what the fuck these people are even talking about in this article. It was kind of fucking stupid and uh, Yeah, but uh, anyways did anybody anybody you know watching this video? Do you guys get that email about the PS4 pre-order as well? It's kind of interesting. I don't know. I was kind of surprised to get that because Obviously, the console has not coming out yet, but uh, definitely the console will be out by fucking January. I don't know why the fuck these people are freaking out. So uh, we need to tell these bitches to calm down. Yeah. And moving on to our second Gaming News Pope article. This one is actually on the PS4 again, and it's actually a day old, but it's just so goddamn funny, especially from Shaq News. They just kind of fucking made it hilarious. So apparently on the PS4, you'll be able to have 2,000 friends, which uh, does that sound interesting? Maybe it does because the Xbox One only allows 1,000 friends. And apparently Microsoft actually announced that at E3. And then Sony just announced that you can actually have 2,000 on the PS4. Which uh, is obviously hilarious. I mean, you know, first Sony, uh, you know, they dropped the price by 100 on so on Microsoft. And now they're uppercutting the friends list thing. I don't know what they're going to do next. But clearly Sony, I mean, they fucking hate Microsoft at this point. And it's honestly just hilarious watching them, like, beat the shit out of the Xbox. Because, honestly, Microsoft beat the shit out of themselves to start out with. So, I guess Sony might as well just finish the job. So, it's kind of interesting. I advise you guys to read this article. It's actually only, like, three paragraphs, but it's fucking hilarious. And, uh, yeah, it's actually pretty cool. Well, I have 2,000 friends on, you know, fucking PSN on PS4. Although, uh, I mean, shit. I don't... I think I have, like maybe like 20 friends on my ps3 so shit i'm not gonna get that many if you guys actually do have a ps3 be sure to add me um i guess i can put that in the description or maybe i won't i don't know it's sergeant slash pope so yeah add me i might put an annotation on the video shit son but yeah anyways uh 2000 friends on ps4 fuck yeah so i just noticed that i said sergeant slash um it's actually sergeant hyphen pope but anyways let's move into our next gaming is bub article this one is talking about Train Simulator 2014. Fuck yeah! So uh, I actually have Train Simulator 2013, which is a great thing because apparently if you have like any of the previous uh, Train Simulator games, you're actually gonna get Train Simulator 2014 for free, which is fucking crazy. It's actually pretty fucking awesome. So, uh, <laughs> you know, I actually, sometimes I do play Train Simulator. I used to play it a lot whenever I was a little kid, so that's kind of why I bought the new one. Um, and I guess I'll be getting Train Simulator 2014. Fuck yeah, I guess I'll do some Gaming News with Pope with that gameplay. But yeah, that game comes out in September. It's gonna be fucking crazy. And apparently all the DLC packs will work on the new one. And, uh, apparently the game is just fucking crazy! 
They drive, cr they drive fucking trains around and fuck bitches up. Hell yeah. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. Fucking bitches up. With all that said, that pretty well finishes up episode 40 of Gaming is a Pope. Hell yeah. Pretty fucking excited about getting to episode 40. Hopefully I'll get to 50, 60, 69, 70, 80, 90, and even 100. Fuck yeah, let's do it. Anyways, uh, hope you guys like the gameplay. Pinball Arcade, pretty fucking cool. Uh, and I actually have another pinball game to do pretty soon. It's Marvel Pinball or something, or Pinball Marvel. Probably Marvel and Pinball. Yeah, that, that one's pretty good too. So anyways, if you guys do have any gameplay suggestions of your own, be sure to leave those in the comment section below, and I'll try to rent those games. Anyways, uh, you know, if you guys want to drop a like on this episode, you know, episode 40, it's a milestone. You guys should fucking do it. But anyways, I uh, hope you guys have a great motherfucking day, and I'll see you guys around the bin. Peace out, motherfuckers. That is all it's in I don't know, sometimes they put instructions, but really, I mean, you don't need instructions. There we go. That's pretty much all we have, that's all we have to do. Yeah, sorry, I'm still getting this.